Right, I'm in the kitchen today, so there's a bit of background noise, washers going and things like that. We're going to put a CIS onto a Epson SX405. That's a 405 SX405. You can see the CIS is here prepared. And just to show you down here, look, I've got the four air filters in already. You put those air filters in, pull the small bung out, and put the four air filters in there. That lets air in but stops ink flying out if you accidentally knock it. And I've done some preparation. If you look here, I've stuck that arm there, approximately two inches from the edge there to the edge there. Approximately two inches. I've also stuck this down, this little hinge thing here. They come in the pack, by the way, that and that are already in the pack. And I've also removed the lid. If you were to get this kit, you'd have to get the pictures. We can take pictures on show how to move, remove the lid, but not video because my hands cover everything up on video. But when I do it by pictures, we can get the camera right in there. Video is just distorted. So the lid removal would, be, would come by paper instructions. So we've done that preparation to start with to cut down a, a little bit of time. Let's put the CIS into the printer. Right, so we've got the printer plugged in, we're going to turn it on. So that's it, I've just pressed the button to turn it on and it's going to go through its initial setup. We want it to recognise that there's no cartridges in there. That's what we want to do. So it'll go through its setup, just wait for that. While that's happening, what I'm going to do, I'm going to place this and next to the printer. This is just a light by the way, it's extra lighting there and there. Just extra lighting so you can see better up there. Right, the bottles there stood next to it, and very important, the bottles are stood on the same level as a printer. You must have them at the same level, don't have them higher, especially because gravity will pull the ink all the way down and leak all over your printer. So, your bottles are stood next to your printer. Make sure they're not higher. If you do put them higher, I can guarantee you, you're going to get a lot of flooding. Right, the printer has now recognised that there's no cartridges. We'll just go over and have a look there at the screen. If you look there, look, it's got no cartridges recognised, obviously, because there's no cartridges in there. So what we're going to do is get some in. As I say, the uh, printer has recognised there's no cartridges, so we have to press OK next on the, the printer here. Press OK, and that will move the carriage into place to put some more cartridges in. Now, here's a cartridge block. We can't get that through this tiny gap here, so what we have to do is physically push that across to the right. It won't hurt the printer. It won't hurt it one bit. Across as far as it'll go. And then you get your cartridge block and feed it under that bar. And if you look there, you'll see what I mean. It needs feeding under the bar and through the gap. Then pull the cartridge carrier back into place and click in your cartridges. Now, the most common error is people don't press hard enough, they think they're going to break the printer. You won't break the printer, push them in till they click, and then just to make sure, do each cartridge individually. Press hard. Yep, that's it. They're all pressed in, and now we've got to put the piping into place. Now, to get the piping in the right place, we've got to make sure we push that across to the right again to get the right length. So if we've got it here, we don't know it's got the right length. It's got to go as far as it can across to the right so we can get the right length here. And you see the piping, it's coming out to the left with no twists. It's so important that you do not twist that piping there. It's straight out, then you go under there, under here, and then you curl it back on itself, like that, making sure there are no twists. There could well be a twist in there, just take the twist out. Now, can you see? It's going across and over itself, back, with no twisting at all in that piping. That is important that you get right. And once you've got that right, just tuck it in to the arm, into the arm there. It clips in. Just pull the arm apart and it, go it goes in. Now, we get the right length. We need a little bit of give here, but not too much. So I've got that a little bit slack. Now, we know it's not um, too short because that's across to the right and I'm going to lift the camera up. If you look in there, we've got some slack. Don't give too much slack as it will make the printer give a not recognised on the cartridges. And obviously don't be too tight because it will do the same. 
and once you've got that hooked up there bring it across and down into here and clip it in that's it clipped in there no twists very important there are no twists that's got the uh, cartridges in let's see if we can get it to recognize them now the cartridges are in so all you have to do is press ok over here and that'll go through its ritual now to set up the cartridges As you can see it's charging the cartridges and the ink is flowing through the pipes getting rid of any air in there. Don't be concerned about any uh, air in the pipes, it will disappear. You might get the odd page uh, where you've got some air lines through to start with but it will soon disappear and everything will be perfect. It's going through its procedure still. Even if you put normal Epsom cartridges into this uh, printer, it will still go through this procedure. There's nothing we can do about that. And that's it. It has completed the ink cartridges going in. It's recognised the cartridges and it's ready to print, so I'll just go get my memory card. Right, I've put the uh, memory card in, I've selected picture, so all there is left now to do is print. So I'll press start on the uh, printer, and you'll see the uh, printer started into motion straight away. Move that out of the way. Now you'll see the paper going through now, and it's printing away. This is set to um, high grade printing by the way, it's a uh, photo, so it's set to high quality printing. So it will take a bit of time to go through. But I can see into the printer here, I can see it's printing it perfectly okay. We can see the piping working fine there. The ink hasn't totally gone out yet, there's still some, sorry, the air hasn't totally gone out. There's still some air in there, but don't be concerned about that because it will soon disappear. If you do want it to go quickly, that air, just do a couple of uh, head cleans. That will soon whiz that air through and get rid of it. Otherwise, you can just keep printing as it is and the air will eventually move out of the way anyway. But the print is coming through now, it's, um, I can see that it's printing very well. Even though it's set to photo print, I've got it on normal paper. And it's producing a very good quality. It is, um, it's not far off of uh, finishing I wouldn't think, I've got it on a 6x4. And there we go, that's printed through there. Okay, there, there's the picture. That's on poor paper, it's very poor paper quality. So you've seen it set up, you've seen it printing, everything is great. Now your printer doesn't know that you haven't put uh, normal cartridges in, so it will monitor them and, as normal cartridges. And then for instance it will say your black is empty. All you do is press the OK to continue until your cartridge carrier comes here. Then you get that little button there, you press it in, hold it for five seconds, let go, press OK to continue and it will fill your cartridge back up electronically. Your printer will think it's full again. Don't ever take your cartridges out. Just press that little white button, hold for five seconds. All these uh, CIS now are available on my website. Feel free to have a look. My phone number's coming up as well as a helpline. Thanks for watching.